The scanning electron microscope was the next step up from the optical microscope. Though it's been around for around about 70 years, it does require quite a lot of advanced technology for actually to operate. Although they've been reduced in something just about fits onto a desk, it's still really beyond the pocket of the average individual. The microscope works, as the name suggests, by producing a focused beam of electrons which passes across the surface of the object needing to be scanned. Because the electrons are accelerated to a very high speed, they carry quite a lot of kinetic energy. And when they bounce off the solid surface of a sample, they reveal not just where a particular part of the sample is, but also some information about the surface, depending on how much they are decelerated by. Scanning electron microscope is capable of enlarging images up to around 30,000 times for a conventional model or even more for specialised equipment. The faster the electrons are accelerated, the greater the resolution that can be achieved. The microscope uses an electron gun to fire electrons at the sample. Electrons then pass through a series of condenser lenses which then focus and target the electrons from the gun with the help of an aperture strip. Because, again, the aperture is much smaller than that of the optical microscope, this gives a greater depth of field. However, it does have some issues and specialist conditions for it to work in. Firstly, because an electron beam is being used, the main body of the microscope needs to be a vacuum, so any sample must be able to cope with this condition, at least while being scanned. The microscope also needs a sophisticated cooling system, a vibration-free floor, and a room free from ambient magnetic and electrical fields. Without these, getting a good quality image is impossible. Unlike the optical microscope, the scanning electron microscope doesn't see inside the object being scanned. Instead, it can produce an apparent three-dimensional view of the surface of the object, allowing for a great deal of information to be gathered about objects and how they're likely to react and interact with others. These images can be produced in a matter of minutes, enabling rapid analysis of new substances and since the information is in a digital format, it can be rapidly shared around the world. However, before anything can be scanned, it also needs to be prepared for examination. It may mean a coating needs to be applied to the surface. This is an ultra-fine layer of a conductive surface over the top of the object being scanned. The layer reduces damage to the object and also increases resolution. Images that produce from the microscope are black and white, they can be colorized later for contrast. The type of microscope can be used to view anything from microchips to bacteria, and is also useful in forensic science, being essential to many scientific discoveries. That's the scanning electron microscope.